All right, so today is the evening of day 63. 63 days since I bought these two little red-tailed catfish. And I've been taking videos every single day for the last 63 days. <laughs> if you want to look back and watch how they grow day by day. And when I started, they were about two inches. And now they're over five, which is pretty crazy. And I've seen these guys can get like up to like three feet in a year, which is really crazy. So... It'll be interesting to see how big they are in like six months. If they outgrow this hot tub. <laughs> this hot tub is getting smaller and smaller the bigger they get. And today actually I'm going to feed some beef liver, but I'm going to use less than I normally do. So there's been a couple days where they just gorge themselves to where they're like completely bloated. And, and I know you can actually accidentally kill these guys if you feed them too much. So... I really am going to start cutting down a little bit so they don't get too bloated. Hopefully this uh, this is enough for them, <laughs> just a little bit here. Uh, I kind of chopped it a little bit finer. I'm going to spread it out a little bit more. Keep them a little bit hungry so they don't get bloated. Oh, I definitely don't want to kill one from overfeeding it. All right, so I'm going to take this camera and put it in an underwater housing and give you some underwater video. So today is the morning of day 64 with these two little red tail catfish. I'm going to turn off the pump here and we'll see how big they are today. Growing pretty fast. I'll see if I can get a measurement today. Uh, it seems like they haven't been coming up on this little bench area. I'm thinking about maybe doing something else. <laughs> maybe maybe putting some little rulers on the bottom down there. Might have to kind of change my plan as far as measuring these guys. I've tried several days in a row with no luck. <sighs> It'd almost be better if you could have some kind of a, like a grid on the entire bottom of the pond. Maybe if I eventually move up to uh, uh, like a different, some kind of a, I was thinking about doing like an indoor pond or something a little bit bigger once they outgrow this. And maybe I'll get something that has like a, like a grid on the bottom where we won't have to <laughs> keep trying to sit and wait for them all the time. It'd be nice if I had some kind of a, you know, some, like a layout, like like a cutout or something where I had a grid on the whole bottom and we could just look down and see exactly how big they are. Just at a glance, that would be ideal. But the way we're going, it's a little bit difficult trying to wait for them to, to come up to the shelf up here. All right, so today we are feeding shrimp. I haven't fed shrimp in a while. It seems like the last time I fed shrimp, they kind of turned their nose up at it and didn't really eat it much. They were spitting it out. I don't know if my shrimp got a little freezer burned or something. <laughs> or maybe just that one day they decided they didn't like it. But I'm going to try it again. All right, so I'm taking this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and give you some underwater video.